are looking for a taste of the upper Midwest, you don't have to travel there, you just have to travel here, Detroit, Coney Island. But don't take my word for it. Let's take it from our Fox 13 family that told us about this, the Fetz family. You guys, true Detroiters, tell me this, does this place taste like home? Absolutely. Yes, yes. 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 Everyone says yes. Well, let's try this Michigander meal for ourselves, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> Tell me about finding Detroit Coney Island. We moved to Florida about nine years ago, missing a little piece of home, and we heard it through a friend. She contacted me and said, hey, I've got a friend that moved down there and opened up Detroit Coney Island. You have to go try it. For those that are completely unfamiliar with Detroit food or Michigan food, what does that consist of? Polish food, you have Greek food, you have Italian, so it's just a gabosh of everything that is like home. I'm gonna have the Elias Big Boy burger. So what are we doing? So we're gonna, we're gonna do the, uh, the Coney Dog. I think we'll do a Fago Rock and Rye. And uh, let's go with a bag of Buttermaid. Did you grow up in Michigan? Yes, all of my life. All of your life? We've been very happy down here. And to find Detroit Coney Island, having that home, um, there's no really reason to go back when you miss the food, because we can just drive here. Because you go to a Tigers game, you go to a Lions game, you're in the downtown atmosphere. You either grab a Coney before or after the game. A lot of Michiganders come here, and even local. Vago Rock and Rye. Yep. Tastes like something. What does it taste like? Snow cone I've had, or that's kind of that. I think that's where I'm going. Like a cherry icy, yeah. but soda. Yeah, cherry, almost like cola, but the cola's not strong. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. I did. The family that eats pony dogs together stays together. That's right. I have not had a pony in Detroit but I feel like I've had one now. That was an interesting technique you just employed. You did a, he did a bite of the toppings and then went for a separate bite of the actual hot dog. But sometimes it's hard to manage all in one bite. Some people employ the fork and knife. I like your technique. I also like hers. That's, that's really interesting, <laughs> what's happening over there. You're just pushing that dog out of the bun. Meanwhile, Vaughn's is basically gone. That's a teenage <laughs> that's boy. That's a teenage boy. Coney consumption is complete, but Dave, that is not the end to our meal as I understand. Absolutely not. You, you must always save room for the final dessert. Ooh, look at that thing. What makes this so Michigan special? Well, I think it starts at the top, right? It's, it's the fudge. Okay. So another Michigan company, and then you have, of course, the homemade cream puff, and then probably the Stroh's vanilla ice cream in the middle. This is a Detroit dessert. That fudge. The fudge. It's the fudge. <laughs> wow. All right, Michigan. You did well. Well, for the Fetz family, Detroit Coney Island is truly a taste of home, and that's why they say it deserves to be a Bay Area best. Michelle, Dave, Delena, Vaughn, thank you so much for introducing us to this place. Our pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Poor Chris is over here, like, salivating. Yeah, if you. It's yeah, I know. Me. It's killing you, isn't it? If you'd like to check out Detroit Coney Island, the information is right there on your screen. It's in Palm Harbor, open every day but Monday. And if you know a great restaurant you'd like Chip to check out, send him an email. Chiptips at foxtv.com. <laughs>